New at 6 tonight, camp can be a fun and special place for most children, but a camp in upstate New York is giving some of the sickest children a chance to forget about their illnesses. It invites campers from all across the region, including Connecticut, and it doesn't cost them a cent. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Susan Raff spent the day with campers and the volunteers who make this a truly an experience to remember. Arts and crafts is a popular activity at Camp Simca. They heated it up and it turned out like this. Bruce Steinberg is proud of his plate. It's an accomplishment for him and the other campers whose lives have been torn apart by cancer. Kinda we're all together, all together and one for all. For two weeks, kids with some of the most deadly forms of cancer have fun. They forget about everything. Everyone's the same. There's no one different, whether a wheelchair or they're walking or can't walk. Luke Skywalker, let's go. Show them some of your action. These kids know what it's like to be sick and feel pain. Cancer robs them of their childhood. And treatments like chemotherapy stunt their growth. And they lose their hair. <laughs> at seven, Luke is much smaller than other kids his age. But here at camp, he fits in. I was in the musical last night. Moshe Reese is from Waterbury. He's been volunteering as a counselor for 10 years. You know, they're children with cancer, but, you know, they have cancer, but they're still children. And our job is to really install the, the child out of them and to bring the child out of them. Cole Silverman had a brain tumor. He has seizures and memory loss. It's his second year at Camp Simcoe. It's better this year. Why is that? We went scuba diving. <laughs> Every camp has an infirmary, but this one is different. This infirmary has doctors, nurses, in fact, it's almost like a mini hospital. And in here is the chemotherapy room. Because even though kids are in camp, they still need treatment. And without it, they wouldn't be able to be here. Every day, lunchtime becomes a big party. Counselors put some kids on their shoulders, others just dance. Our goal is to be able to give them a good time for two weeks, to give them the confidence and the self-esteem and the will to keep on fighting illness for the other 50 weeks. They struggle to be like their friends at home and not be the kid with cancer. Are you going to come back next year? Yes. Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.